So when it comes to Sierra and Melee, like a lot of people have like very very strong opinions about him, uh, partly because of Smash Four, uh, maybe other reasons as well. I, I I don't know. But the one thing I will say, the one thing I will say is, um, I remember I played with Zero like two or three friendlies at Apex 2014 uh, because he was like, oh, I really want to play you in melee. I've never done that. So I played like two, three friendlies with him. He got absolutely destroyed. Uh, he could still like move around his character and uh, stuff, but he was not good by any means, but he knew, he knew melee, but he couldn't like really do a lot of things. Anyway, fast forward until uh, Skatar. Uh, which is the next time I see Zero, early, uh, later on that year. It was like in May, uh, late May, early June, something like that. I think it was late May. And I played with Zero again uh, around that period of time. Uh, because we we're going to be housed pretty much together the entire summer, Zero, Mewtwo, and I. And around Skatar, Zero was like not crazy good by any means. He still had improved a lot, uh, which I noticed. Most of it was probably uh, getting back into the game. Uh, tech skill alone uh, was probably the biggest difference. Um, but as a lot of you guys might know, uh, I was in the US for like two months-ish uh, in 2014. And I got to see this entire progress from Zero uh, over the course of these two months. And literally week by week, I saw a crazy improvement rate. And there's very few players I've ever seen having something similar, ever. Uh, so early on in the summer, he had like maybe he was like on uh, on this level, and then by the end of su the summer, he was like up here. It, it was crazy. Um, like all the practice he um, got from like all the tournaments playing against me and Mewtwo King, it was crazy. Like, I remembered Evo that year, 2014. He traded sets with Fiction. Uh, he beat S Fat. Uh, he took mo like he beat Amsa at MLG, uh, like Amsa the Yoshi player. He took one game with me at MLG in a crazy uh, clutch comeback, uh, which is something that defines Sierra as a player. I don't understand how he is so clutch. Uh, I believe he's the most clutch smasher. Actually, it's crazy how he always seems to win. Uh, sneaky chickens, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the Brotherhood. Appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, so if someone asked me, do I think Zero could make it into the top six in melee if he practiced enough? I clearly believe so. The guy is hella smart. Uh, he's uh, when he gets dedicated for something, he works. Uh, he works very hard for it, and he puts in results. Uh, he's not slacking by any means. So if Zero in a few months could climb up to like top 30, 35 level, I think he was ranked like 32 or something uh, for the Mayum in 2014. Uh, it was somewhere between 30 and 40. Uh, so if he could do that in a few months, then... How can you say for sure he would not be able to climb into like the top 10 or top 6 if he dedicated himself for another like 2-3 years? And I do agree that top 30 uh, back in the days was not nearly as good as top 30 nowadays. But still, it's, it's really, really, really crazy how fast he improved. And I've been playing this game for more than 12 years now. I've been around in a competitive uh, community. And I can only think of a handful of cases, if even that, that improved as fast or close to as fast. So, yeah. We will never know for sure. Uh, Sierra having a very successful career in Smash 4. Props to that. Uh, always want to see him do well there as well. Um, but yeah, we'll never be able to say for sure how he would have done in Melee. But with what I experienced during these two months... Uh, practicing with him and seeing his progress. I would bet my money on him at the very least being in the top 15 if he kept playing melee. Uh, and maybe climbing up even higher uh, later on. Do I think he's the best overall Smash player or Mewtwo King? 
it depends on what you define as the best match player. If someone asked me if I could have Mewtwo King's or Zero's career, and I had no preference in terms of games, then I would probably say Zero's career. Like, I don't really care about the fact that Mewtwo King is better in Smash 64, a game that Zero, like, never plays. Zero has mainly played three different Smash games. Smash 4, that he has been literally the best ever since the game came out. Except for maybe a few months in 2016, after his hand, uh, finger injury or hand injury or whatever it was. Uh, but yeah, he has been like by far the best Smash 4 player since he came out. Uh, PM, he was the best for a long time as well. And in Brawl, he was one of the best, arguably the best at times. And personally, I care more about being number one than placing like second to fifth. Like, don't get me wrong, Mewtwo King has had a really impressive uh, career and like a lot of Smash games. Uh, but still, I, I would prefer Zero's, uh, Zero's uh, results if I was a Smasher.